Hello, I'm Thorstein and I'm an Emacs user. Uh, Emacs, I've used it since I was in uni and uh, Java is my well main language uh, that I use for work and I've used many different plugins to get Java to work properly in Emacs and currently I'm using LSBAE and that's what I'll show you a demo today. I have a number of requirements. It should be really easy to set up a new Java project and it needs to be fast. It needs to work with, you know, we have around 7,000 classes in the CMS that we're currently working on. And so I will show you code navigation, jump into source uh, in my own project and in third party libraries, auto completion, imports, running tests from within Emacs, linting, implementing missing classes, uh, debugging the application with conditional breakpoints, as well as some refactorings that are now available through LSP. It's uh, LSP really has uh, improved the situation in, in Emacs for Java developers and it's now a really nice package. So for this I will use a small small project. It currently has two classes. It has cheese shop test and then it has cheese shop. So let's write a test um, to prove that if you have a cheese shop and you ask for how many customers there are in it, uh, there should be none. So cheese shop equals new cheese shop and assert equals zero should equals equal the cheese shop customers list which we haven't created yet and then size there. So let's create the customers method and that just defaults to objects. We must make that into a, a list of customer. And that should of course return customers, which we haven't created yet. Create a customer class, import the list, and create a field, it should be an error list. And this is all just wonderful, Emacs does everything for us. Hardly needs to program anymore. Right, That's, it has a few problems really recognizing new classes, so revert to buffer or build approach again that resolves the issue normally there. Okay, so now we can do a static import of assert equals and then we can run the test. There, it passes. Awesome, we've proven that an empty shop is indeed empty. So, Let's write, write another test to say what happens when a customer enters the shop. So it's the same thing, we create a new cheese shop. And we then create a customer. Customer, customer equals new customer and it has a name. And cheese shop, enter customer, it should be the other way around but anyway, and assert equals cheese shop customer size, it's like before, right, and create the name variable, it should be a string, let's set that to join, and create the enter method, let it do what we wanted to do, you should add the customer to the customers list, right, and Let's rename that to P customer. And um, what's wrong? Yeah, it should be customers. There. Nice. Okay, and then what else is wrong? The, the construct doesn't work, so it doesn't exist. So let's have Emacs create that for us. Then it should be name equals p name. Name doesn't exist yet, so create it. And also create a method to return the name. There. Then we should be able to run the test and hopefully it goes green. Yay!
So now we have a number of graphical things as well. Um, we have a symbol browser and there's also a nice way we, yeah there's a different way where you can get all the errors in your project. It's not only the current file but it will also list everything in the current repository git repository uh, as well as any other repositories projects I will have in your workspace. So this is similar to the way well it works in work in Eclipse. There's also a dependency list. So this is both a project navigator and a dependency navigator. So here you can all tab your way through the different libraries, both from Maven and from the JRE. OK, so let's create a third and last test where we test what it's like to have a lot of customers in the shop. So it starts the same way. And say, get down there. We need to create a cheese shop. And then we create a for loop to get a lot of customers. And then we check if that number, if it all adds up. Create a local variable of it. We need 100 customers. We move that up to the body of the for loop. And then they can't be all called John, so we do John plus I. And then a certain equals number of customers should equal the number of customers in the shop. And now it just happens to be that, that we have a problem when I is 80 and how to debug that, right? So now we have conditional breakpoints in the debugger in Emacs. So you can do uh, DAP. First you add the breakpoint, so that's DAP, breakpoint add, and then DAP breakpoint condition. And the condition is i equals 80. So now when we run the debugger, it won't stop until i hits 80, which is really, really useful when debugging production. Um, so when the thread stops now, you can see i is 80. You can see it there in the locals browser as well as in the mouse over of the of the mouse. And you can also have you can also eval using thing at point, so you get inline. Really nice. And you can step into, of course, and inspect all the. Th all this, uh, all the variables of the of the class, and go drill down, and you can see that there are five bytes. The string is bound by five bytes, and you can continue downwards into. And now we are into the JDK itself, into error list, and we can step through that and peek and look at everything, and it passes. Really cool. And as you can see now, that add it returns a boolean. So let's put that into extract that to a variable and then we can do something with that variable so we'll just do something silly so if it didn't work to add we'll throw an exception okay yikes couldn't add customer p customer there so that's it. That's what I want to show you today. Uh, Emacs is really an awesome development environment for Java. Thanks.